So Insurgency Sandstorm has got a free weekend coming up starting today. And not just that, but the 1.3 update that we took a look at a little while ago is now live. And part of this update is, of course, the new Frenzy game mode, which I really think is a game changer for the series. So what do I mean by this? Well, guys, this is Billy Eat World again, and let's find out. All right, so like I said, Sandstorm is having a free weekend this weekend, and I'm guessing maybe a lot of you guys watching this video might actually be checking the game out for the first time. And look, you've picked a really good time to get into this game because honestly, I think as you can probably see on screen now, it's actually running smoother than it ever has. Sandstorm did have a lot of performance issues when it first came out late last year, and I think that put a lot of people off initially playing it. And so for the last few months, I've got to admit the active player base has been struggling a little bit, but now things are looking a lot better, and with the last few patches, it looks like the game is making a comeback. And I think a big part of this is Frenzy, because, and this might not seem like something you'll realise if you're new to the game, it's completely different from the regular modes. And to be honest, it actually feels probably more like a Left 4 Dead game than anything else, which isn't a bad thing. It just feels really weird if you are a veteran of this particular franchise. Because, I mean, this is a game where usually you want to take your time and you want to make sure you're not making mistakes and you want to get the edge on your enemies. But Frenzy isn't like that at all. It's just mindless waves of AI that are screaming and running at you and it becomes more about conserving resources like, for example, you'd have to do in a survival horror game. Now, I think the funniest thing about Frenzy is that when it hit the CTE a few weeks ago, I actually said in a video that I thought it would be something that people had played just once and then never want to go back to, but apparently that doesn't seem to be the case. Now that it's available on more of the maps, it seems to have a lot more replayability than I first thought it would. Probably the only issue at the moment is that it is really, really hard for the human players to win. And I mean, that might turn people off over time. But on the other hand, I also think the skill curve kind of adds a whole other dynamic to the gameplay as well. And I think players who like working in a team will actually appreciate this quite a bit. Now, I think the other main reason that people are getting so hooked on Frenzy is because of the atmosphere. Like, it can be borderline creepy at times. And not just that, but the way the enemies all have special abilities, well, it completely changes how you have to deal with situations, and that keeps you on your toes. And also, you'll notice that I've got the HUD turned off, and I don't seem to be doing too much worse, because at the end of the day, you are fighting against AI players, so it's not really a disadvantage. You just have to pull up your map a bit more often to check where the objectives are, and for your travels, well, you'll find that you'll have a much more intense and immersive experience. Now, just before we finish up, I just want to make a more general point that I think Frenzy is probably a taste of what there is to come from Sandstorm in the future. And I think if nothing else, what it's shown is that players will accept a more casual arcade mode, even in a tactical shooter like this, and that there is actually a demand for decent co-op modes. Most importantly, though, it's shown that just adding a new mode can bring an influx of new players who maybe aren't necessarily into the traditional tactical shooter genre, and I think that's especially important when the game finally does come out on console later this year, because, I mean, after all, the console player base does tend to prefer the more casual sort of FPS game. What I'd actually really like to see New World try out, though, is maybe to add in a more forgiving, more casual official preset as, for example, an alternative to the regular standard modes. Like, for example, they could add in a preset with a slightly longer time to kill that maybe includes a minimap and the kill feeds, but still has the standard insurgency realistic weapon handling. And the reason I think this might work really well is because I think in the last few months, what's become really clear is that most FPS players want to shoot a game with great gunplay, they want immersion, and they most importantly want a modern theme. And I just don't think enough people realize that Sandstorm is that and more. And I think if New World can change things up just enough to entice COD and Battlefield fans to make the switch, then this game could seriously take off. 
But anyway, guys, that's just about it for this video. So as always, make sure you let me know in the comment section below what you think about anything you've seen in this video. And also let me know what you think about the idea of a casual preset for Sandstorm. If it's okay, for example, COD and Battlefield to have hardcore presets, then why isn't it okay for a tactical shooter to go the opposite direction? Let me know what you think down below. As always though, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also don't forget you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch. And as always, until next time, see you later and have a good one.